Hey guys, Marilyn here. I am super excited to show you my new little pom-pom maker that I got from We Are Memory Keepers. I bought this in a bundle from HSN and I wanted to show you real quick how to make these. So here is the big pom-pom. Look how cute that is. Isn't that super cute? And then we also have the medium size one. That's what that one looks like. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you what, how to do this in the smaller version. Now, um, this is what the pom-pom maker looks like. Each piece is built the same. They're just different sizes. So each side has two arms and then you have the center piece here. Now, initially when I did this, I accidentally pulled the string. I didn't know that these come apart this way. So they come apart so you can get your pom-pom out. But when I initially did it, I didn't know that. And then I had a bunch of strings that I had already cut and they were on the table. So then what I did, because I'm a little obsessive when it comes to crafting, I laid all my little strings out and I ended up making the pom-pom anyway. So <laughs> it's super tiny, but I had to cut a lot off because when I cut it, I didn't do, it was my first pom-pom. That I attempted and it did not come out right and that's because I didn't finish reading the instructions and I thought I knew what I was doing so it does help to <laughs> read instructions that's why they're included so this is what I did with the little leftover strings that were all over the table so at any rate let's go to the tutorial so I bought the these little tiny skeins for a dollar at Meyer. if you don't know what Meyer is here in Illinois it's kind of like a Walmart I don't usually shop there very much, so um, but I had to go there for something specific, and so I saw this in their little crafting section, and these were all a dollar, so I decided to um, pick them up because I knew that my pom pom maker was coming in the mail. So this is we're gonna get started. We're gonna move these little guys over, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So you want to first open up your pom pom maker and separate the little legs. I'm going to keep one closed because after doing those, I realized that, you know, I need the, the, the space for wrapping this. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the string down on here and then I'm going to start wrapping it. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this and I'm going to try to do it as even as possible. Obviously I have gaps there, um, but uh, as long as I can fill this thing up. And depending on how much string you attach to this or how many spins you do or wraps, I should say not spins, but um, it's going to determine the thickness of your pom-pom and it's also going to determine um, how fluffy it is, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to spin this or wrap it. I don't know why I keep saying spin, but at any rate... You know, I had went to, um, sometimes I go to Goodwill to look at the crystal that they have, and I've bought some gorgeous crystal pieces at Goodwill, uh, actually name brands like Waterford, Gabelle, uh, Gorham, I've bought some Mikasa pieces, and so I, I, I went to Goodwill recently to go look around and see what they had, and I saw these cute little bags, and sometimes Goodwill has some new products there. And I don't know where they're coming from necessarily, but if they're from a personal owner or from a company. But I saw these little straw bags hanging on this display. And I'm like, oh my God, those are so cute. They were brand new. They were like $3. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut it. You know what? Let me try to make this a little more even for myself. And then I'll go ahead and close it. This one is kind of thick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close that and then we're going to snip, we're going to go ahead and snip the string. All right, so now I'm going to open up this side and then we're going to go ahead and wrap that. So at any rate, I saw the little straw bag and I'm like, oh my God, this is so cute. And the straw wasn't really thick and um, coarse. It was very soft and they had two big pom-poms hanging from it and I think that's what kind of like attracted me to the bag and it's also something that you can take to the pool 
if you're traveling and it's really hot outside, you don't want to take vinyl with you. You don't want to take anything that's, you know, going to get super hot in the sun. So, um, so I bought the little bag and it was so cute and it had pom-poms about this size hanging from them and they had different color pom-poms on the different bags. So I had bought pink ones, but you know, females, we like cutesy little things. It doesn't matter how old we get. Um, we just like cute little pretty things. <laughs> I was watching uh, a tutorial the other day and one of the ladies on there, she's she's older. She was like, oh my God, look at how cute this is. It's so tiny. So she was referring to little tiny embellishments for like planners or, you know, things like that. And then I was watching another tutorial where this other woman was making uh, uh, shaker bookmarks. And she was like, oh, you might think this is childish, but I made myself a luggage tag and it's got the little shaker uh, sequence bits in there. And I, I commented because I'm like, I made myself a luggage tag like that as well. So we just like pretty little things. So um, we're all big kids at the end of the day. Let's be real. So, all right. So I think I have enough string on this pom-pom here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, okay? Now we're gonna cut another string. And if you see my little hot pink mess over here, this is the waist from the big pom-pom, but I'll get into that in a minute. I, I don't know why I still have it there, but all right. So, so now, as you know, we have the two little legs, right? And that opening there. So we're going to go ahead and insert, oops, I have to cut it first. All right. FYI, these little scissors that came with the We Are Memory Keepers uh, bundle, um, for some reason, they're, they don't cut. So, and when I press on here, this actually overlaps. So I'm not able to use this these scissors for this. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Cutter B scissors. Um, these cut very, very well. So we're going to go ahead and cut the little down the middle of the track where that opening is at. Make sure you cut all the string in there. Because if you don't get every single little strand, it's not going to work. Okay. This one is super tight. Okay, all right. Now we can take our string and we're gonna feed it through the center of those arms and we're gonna tie it tight. Okay, so I got down to the center of my pom-pom there and then I'm gonna tie a knot. Okay, so something that I didn't do with my other pom-poms and I did a lot of trimming on those, I'm going to try to trim some of this off and see if it gives me a, a better little shape or if it allows me to do less trimming. So we're gonna go ahead and trim that a little bit. Okay. And just a, just a tiny bit here. Okay. And then this one last side, kind of make them all even. That little string right there is Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the arms apart, right? Where's my string? My string was there. Pull those arms apart, and then we're going to pull those arms apart, and now we're going to take apart the, the whole pom-pom maker. So then that releases your pom-pom. Before, when I first tried to make uh, a blue one, for some reason, I don't know what I did, I pulled the string. I didn't know that these came apart because I didn't finish reading the <laughs> instructions. And um, all the strings came out. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's not how it's supposed to work. Let me finish reading the instructions. Okay, so as you can see, this is what my string was when I first started there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and shape up my little pom-pom. These are so cute, so adorable. And you can use these pom-poms, you can put them on clothes, you can, 
you know, I showed my daughter the, the blue one that I made first. And I was like, oh my God, look at my little pom-pom I just made. She's like, you just made that? I'm like, yeah, I got this little pom-pom maker. And she was um, like, oh mom, can you make me two? I'm going to a concert. I want to put it on my clothes. So I think she wanted to put it on a belt or something like that. Sorry if I went out of frame here. I can't see what I'm recording. Um, so yeah, so this is the, the trimming here. I know a lot of people do the old school way by wrapping the, the yarn across some cardboard and you could probably still do it that way. But when I saw this, I thought, oh my God, how adorable is that? And then you have the three different sizes. And so like I said, you can put this on little gifts. You could probably, you know, I make little pouches. I could probably put this on my little my little bag that I made. So isn't that so cute? It may not be perfectly round and all your pom-poms may not be, you know, perfectly round, but you know, as you do this more often, you'll probably get the, the hang of how to make them a little better. But as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of waste with this pom-pom. And I think this pom-pom actually turned out pretty good. That is a really nice little pom-pom. So with the hot pink one, the large one, because it is much larger, this was the waist that I got with that one. So that is the waist from this pom-pom from the trimmings that I did. It doesn't, it's not a whole lot because um, it's kind of very thin like this is. I just kind of like compressed it and flattened it out and all that stuff. So that's the waist from the large pom-pom and I don't think it's a whole lot. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of waste from this pom-pom. Um, I could, I see some spots where I could probably, you know, continue to trim it a little more. But, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll, I've, I've watched previously um, this lady, she was making a pom-pom and she wrapped it on cardboard or whatever. But when she started to trim, <laughs> her pom-pom started off pretty big. And then it came out really little after that. So I'm like, well, I don't know if I want to cut my pom-pom that much. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of waste that I cut off on this pom-pom. So, and I did wrap them pretty thick. So that one is super cute. And then this is the first one that I did, and this is the medium size. So this one is the large over here. That's the large pom-pom maker. Um, this one is the small one. Let me put this together real quick. That's the small one, and this is the medium one. So, I have this little pouch that I made with my little Frida fabric that I got from Joanne Fabrics. Um, it's a little pouch. I lined it with pink fabric. I didn't even change my thread, so don't judge. I didn't feel like changing it. <laughs> so, um, but that's from the top stitch on the outside anyway. So, um, anyway, so I, I made this little pouch and I think the little pom-pom, which color this, or even the blue one, I think I saw a little bit of blue right here. That looks so cute on the bag, right? Look how adorable that is. Super cute. I already made a little charm on here. I've already had the the crystals and then that flower is actually a button and then I got the tassel from Joanne Fabrics as well so um, and I made my little self a the keychain so I just have to add that piece there so I can attach it or detach it maybe I can store my pom-pom makers in this little pouch here so anyway so you can probably add this to a gift you can add it to clothing little purses backpacks whatever but I thought this was super adorable and I wanted to show you what it looked like. So this is pretty cool. You should try it if you like it, you know, uh, see if you like it. Let me know what you think. But that's super cute, isn't it? I love it. I love it. Thanks for watching.